Let's do it a bit. Let's go. Uh-huh. Let's go. You ready for the score? The score. The 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 score. The score. The score. The 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 score. The score. The score. The 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 score. The score. The score. The 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 score. Hey yo, boom shakalaka, get ready for this monster. Gordon St. Luce, the world he gon' conquer. Whole new show. The 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 score. Yeah, I know you never seen it like this before. See. Y'all go hard, but we go harder than y'all. And we cover everything from soccer to baseball. Netball, cricket, boxing, and volleyball. And I can't forget my all-time favorite basketball. Others have tried, but never ever this raw. And after this, you can tell them there shall be no more. Cause Gordon St. Luce go from shore to shore. And you can say that it's a rap, for sure, for sure. Hey. Welcome to The Score. I'm your host, Gordon St. Luce. This week, the Spurs Netball Club hosted their family fun day. The Samaritan Volleyball Association business tournament came to an end. The Milleridge and Stars crowned champs and more after these messages. Stay tuned. Female softball finals continued Friday, July 6th, as the spinners tried to take a 2-0 lead. From the first inning, it was all spinners. Esperanza Yak pitched a beautiful game, holding the Jets to one run. Tiana Liner led the spinners offense, going two for two. The losing pitcher for Najiko Jets was Estelita Gums. By the fifth inning, the mercy rule was applied as the spinners had an 11-1 lead. Ending the game for a very short night. Spinners now lead the series 2-0. Hoping to even up the series, on Saturday the Najiko Jets came out fierce. They bat toe-to-toe -to -toe with the spinners. At the end of the day, the Najiko Jets went home with a 13-8 victory over the spinners putting one win up on the big board as spinners still lead the series 2-1. to one. The winning pitcher for the Najiko Jets was Elmia Gums, while Tamisha Yark took the loss for the spinners. The best batter for the Najiko Jets was none other than Elisa Wilson, who went 3-4. for four. Cassandra Duran led the offense for the spinners, who went 2-3. for three. On Sunday, July 8th, the two teams hooked up again for an offensive explosion. Both teams reached the 20-run mark as the spinners beat the Jets 23-21. Cassandra Duran led the offense for the spinners once again, going 4-6, for six, while Elmia Gomes went 3-4 for four for the Jets. Elisa Wilson also had a grand slam for the Jets on that day. Elmia Gums took the loss again for the Jets. On Saturday, July 7th, the Milleridgean Stars was looking to close out the Los Deltas. It was a back and forth affair. This game featured more than five lead changes. In the third inning, Los Deltas was up, but not for long. As Miguel Eusebius and Nicio Yark went yard. By the sixth inning, the Stars was enjoying the 8 to 10 lead.
Los Deltas rallied back, tying the game at 10 and going up 13 to 10 with a home run by Hector Williams. The Stars had last bat. First up was Dimitri Bobatui, who hit a fly out to center for one out. James Arundel came up after also with a fly out. Milleridge and Stars was down to one out. Eddie Deher came up to bat and he lands a double. Miguel Eusebius glanced at the crowd before he went to bat. He belted a two-run shot over the center field fence. Now Los Deltas lead was 13-12. Nicio Yar came up right after and hit a home run of his own. Tying the game at 13. Los Deltas had a conference on the mound. With just one out to go, Los Deltas walked Ramon and Marvin Bobatui. Confident that Frankie will make the final out. Crowd in the bleachers was stunned. The pitch. Frankie Myers hit a walk-off three-run home run over the left field fence. And the crowd went ballistic. swinging for it but um in that at bat I think because I didn't feel I was going to bat again in that inning I went to the plate with a different approach I was more relaxed you know no on cue and when he groove it I just threw the head of the bat over with but my swing was was much much better on that that approach so from the dead beginning from back in in January I you put the team together yeah. for which purpose to win to win this we started out and we lost the first three three matches and Joe Carlos and he said the most important thing he said, I think um, when you lose the first game, it's just who win the last game. Today we win the last game. What? Woo! This was do or die. It was do or die. It was do now. Hit it out or go home. It wasn't no time for no base. Was for pitch, oh. I was waiting on my pitch. I was patient. I was see, I saw the ball better on this at bat than any at bat during the, 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 the game. So it worked out well. Thank God. That's for my mother. God bless you. And with this trick you represented? Middle region, baby! <laughs> Run on base. You were looking for a particular pitch or you just had a feeling? Now the whole season my coach was telling me, look for your pitch in your zone. You could do it. The last I bad there, he tell me, do not miss the pitch. Everything else gonna fall in place. The whole season, I had confidence in Nisio and Nisio had confidence in me. I know once I get on, Nisio gonna do the rest. That's what, we, that's what we came here for, that's what we built the team to do. And that's exactly what we did. Congratulations, Miguel. The camera, the score, have all your home runs. You you, before you reach to the dugout, you congratulate your mother. I know that was going on throughout the season. Tell me how you feel, your mother witnessing all the celebration. I'm glad my mother is here right now because in 2005, I almost lost my mother. But she's here to see every game that I played, and I'm grateful to the Lord for that. Thank you, Joe. Congratulations. Thank you, buddy. We like to announce the 2012 St. Madison Softball Champions! Oh!